All right, I quickly wanted to show you how to edit your contact form on a Wix website um, to show you kind of how you can send users to a thank you page or you can send them or, or show them a thank you message um, once they've submitted the form. So uh, what you want to do is navigate to the page where you have that form that you want to manipulate and edit. Um, click on it and then you'll see this little form settings and manage fields pop up. The manage fields allows you to add or change fields. Um, so you can add new ones here. You can also edit existing ones. You can make them required and so forth. Um, you can rename them and um, do lots of things this way. So you can change placeholder text, change the name of the field, etc., etc. Um, the other big part of the form settings uh, area is under form settings and if you click here this will take you to your Wix forms um, panel and if you click on settings you'll see the email notifications submissions table contact labels um, so if you want to get change the email that gets notified you can also add a second email um, so every time a uh, form is submitted, you'll get emails at this address. I do caution people to uh, make sure to reply or to click on the user's email versus just responding directly to the notification email. Uh, because if you do that, it goes through the Wix Ascend system. So it's not necessarily from your email address. Um, so I always tell clients to you know, click on the user's email in that um, notification email and reply to them directly using your email versus just hitting respond now or replying to that email, um, which again goes through the Wix system and not ideal um, if you want it to come from your email address to the client. Um, the other part of it is uh, the submit message here. So if you click on this, this will allow you to choose to go to a page or you can also choose a success message. I believe the success message is the default, um, uh, but the, you can also send them to a page, a thank you page or so forth. Um, and then you can choose your page. Now, a, a thank you page doesn't automatically exist. So you would need to create a thank you page in order to link it to the, that page. Um, but I always think that's a good idea. One of the reasons to do this is uh, Google and search engine rankings and so forth. Uh, when somebody clicks on your contact page and fills out the form and then when they submit the form, it takes them to another page. That is actually good for SEO, um, for search engine optimization and ranking, because what it does is rather than keeping them on the same page, it moves them to another page, which reduces your bounce rate. Um, so I usually recommend having and setting up a thank you page and sending them to it um, just because uh, if the person lands on this page from Google, um, it gets them to move through the site. You can also put on the thank you page other things like maybe commonly asked questions or point them to other pages on the site that might um, be informative or useful to the user. So using a thank you page is ideal for search engine reasons and ranking reasons uh, because again if a user lands on a page and then goes to another page on your site that in itself reduces your bounce rate so that helps. Um, but that's not to say that just showing a success message is bad so feel free to use either one of these. You can also link them to an external URL and you could also even send them a link um, or show a link for a file download. This is a premium feature, so you have to upgrade the Ascend program. Um, I want to say it's like $10 and up a month, um, but that's also available here. If you want to do this um, and you don't want to upgrade, you can also just send them to a page at the thank you page and put that file download there. So um, you can do it without having to upgrade the system. Um, payments also are available, but again, those are under the upgraded um, Ascend plan if needed. Um, automations, you can also create a thank you email and, um, and, and uh, a task as well. So feel free to explore those options. But the main thing I wanted to show you was how you can change where the, the form goes after the, it's been submitted, as well as where you set up your email notifications. Um, so if you want to change who gets notified. Um, one other little thing to talk about is the submissions table. Um, it, I believe now it's starting to create these automatically, but sometimes if it doesn't, it'll prompt you here on this main page to create one. All this does is it, it stores all your submissions in the back end um, 
where you can view that in your dashboard. Um, so it's kind of a nice thing to have just because it stores all that stuff. It's kind of a backup of all your submissions. Um, and you can even export out those submissions into an Excel format or CSV file um, so that you can use it to import into your other uh, programs. Um, so that's about it. So I just wanted to show you kind of quickly how you can edit the, the Wix form um, and how to manipulate uh, and change who it goes to for notifications, set up thank you emails, as well as where you want them to go once they've hit that send button. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions.